Well, hello church. I hope you are all doing well on this lovely, lovely day. Um, my name is Rebecca. I'm part of our Manchester campus um, and I'm here today to continue our daily devotions and um, talking about miracles and faith and all of that great, great stuff. Um, now, I know you probably know this, but I'm just going to give us a reminder today that the Bible is full of inspiring stories that have changed the entire history of the world. Stories of love, redemption, courage and forgiveness. But it's also full of really weird and quite frankly unbelievable stories. A lot like the miracles we read in the Bible. The miracles, like the miracles are some of the most amazing parts but that doesn't always mean that they are easy to understand or believe. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, actually made his own version of the Bible that removed all of the miracles, like the seas parting, leprosy being healed, dead people coming back to life. He just couldn't believe that miracles like that could happen. I get it. Some of them are beyond comprehension. But I know that all of those miracles that we read in the Bible, that we hear the ones we hear, plus the ones that happen in our own lives, are 100% true. Our God, who created the earth, the heavens, and everything on it, is more than capable to do all of these things. So one of the many miracles we see in the Bible, I want to pull out um, the one about the walls of Jericho from Joshua 6. So after crossing the river, river jo- after crossing the Jordan River, the Israelites would face what seemed to be an impossible test, getting through the walled city of Jericho. When God led, led Joshua to Jericho, he led him to a city that could not be defeated. The walls of Jericho were built on a sloping embankment, and at the base of the embankment was a retaining wall of about 12 to 15 feet. At the top of this embankment, there was another wall that was 26 feet high and six feet thick. There was simply no way, humanly speaking, for Joshua and his men to gain access to the city of Jericho. But God gave Joshua a battle plan, a plan that most of us, when hearing it, probably would have rejected it outright. We can read this battle plan in Joshua 6, 1 to 5. Now the gates of Jericho were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go in or out. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho, its king and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of, ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times with the priests blowing the horns. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horns, have all of the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into the town. Disregarding any doubt that he might have had from his fellow soldiers and the ridicule of Jericho's population, Joshua believed God and he led God's people on a seven day march. On the seventh day, as God had promised, Joshua and his men carried out a loud cry and discovered firsthand the power of faith. Jericho's walls collapsed and the city was conquered. Now from reading this miracle, I am 100% reminded that God knows best. Even though we might see something as crazy or totally unbelievable when we read the Bible or hear from God ourselves, we need to remember that God knows best and he only wants good in our lives. So when we read about miracles or hear from God in our situations, we need to remember that even when it sounds crazy and we may not understand, God knows best. Well, thanks, church, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye now.